Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for the peroxide ion. So here we go. Uh, peroxide is going to be O2 with a negative 2 charge, okay? That's going to give us uh, two oxygens, each with six valence electrons, plus two more electrons for the minus 2 charge for an overall total of 14 valence electrons, okay? can subtract out the largest multiple of 8, which is going to be 8 in this case, which leaves us with 6. Divide that by 2, it gives you 3, and 8 is equal to 8 times 1, meaning that this is going to have an AX1 E3 type shape, central atom, one peripheral atom, three non-bonding pairs of electrons on the central atom, okay? So there's just two oxygens here, pretty simple structure. Oxygen here, oxygen here, single bond, fill in the octets for each of the oxygens. Count them up, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. That's actually going to be our entire structure right there. Don't forget to put in your brackets because this is an ion. Going to put the charge up top. And we can go ahead and check the formal charge just to verify. Uh, the formal charge on the oxygen, which should be the same for both because they're of the same setup. It's going to be the six valence brought in minus one bond on each one, minus the two, four, six non-bonding electrons on each oxygen for a formal charge of negative one, times that by two because there are two of those oxygens, which is going to give you a total formal charge of negative two, which is exactly what we need. It's supposed to match the overall charge on the ion, okay? So that's it for that. Um, in terms of shape, there's just two atoms. So that's going to give you a linear shape. Uh, in terms of hybridization, Looking at each of the oxygens, there's one, two, three, four um, electron groups or possible bonding sites. So that means you need four orbitals. So you need sp3 hybrid, one s and three p's, four orbitals for four electron groups. Okay, and because these are both oxygens, they're the same kind of atom. Their polarities will cancel out, meaning that this is going to be a non-polar compound. Okay. That is pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching.